I had a copy of the budget before the finance minister came to the chamber. And I tell you, the finance minister is a bad reader. He's a worst present. He presented that he was jumping page by page. We had almost 200 and something pages. But he could not read accurately. He's a very bad reader. So he came reading, and everybody started sleeping. At a point in time, he himself was confused. He was sleeping. So I call it a sleeping budget. Most of the people, it wasn't necessary anymore because promise and promise and promise and promise, and you are not fulfilling it, people will get fed up with you. It's just as if I promised you a car last year. I didn't give you. Next year, I come and promise you a, a, a plane. I didn't give you. Then the next year, I come and promise you a whole country. I mean, what is this? Are we jokers or are we serious in this country? You have borrowed so much than any government in this country. What have you to show in your budget? That the last time, this was what we did. Now you are coming to tell you are going to do A, B, and C, and D. Where are you going to get that money? Are you still going to be borrowing? Or are you going to be raising bonds to do that? And in any case, you haven't even gotten the money. Yet you have come with outrageous budget that we should, we should think that is good. I call it sleeping budget. It's just rhetoric. I don't, I don't even think they should have come out with any budget. They should have just come out and say, look, the last year we did not fulfill it. We intend to fulfill that to continue. And that would have been the end.